everybody, welcome to JC Let's Play. My name is Jonathan Cook, and this is episode 16 of Final Fantasy XIV, A Realm Reborn. We're joined once again by Mia Aliapo, and I've decided to mix it up. We're going to be greeted with a cheer today. And, uh, <laughs> that's, uh, when last we left off, we were here, we just unlocked our in-room, which is where we are currently, and we'd finished our level 10 story quest, we'd unlocked guild leaves, we'd unlocked our in room we'd unlocked our recommended actions uh, that we can access from our duty list here uh, because I'm in my in room there's no duties to display uh, but we're, you'll notice that we're without quests we have no pending duties we've got everything completed and that's because we left our last quest down there with Buskerin not Buskerin Batteron Buskerin is in uh, South Shroud at Buskerin's Druthers so, as you can see, he has the story quest icon above his head, that uh, kind of meteorite or uh, flaming icon, and our rewards for this will be, we could choose between Hempen Trousers, Amateur's Breaches, or Elegant Bronze Tint Piece. Of course, we'll be taking the Breaches, and some Fire Shards as well. Uh, Batteron, the proprietor of the Drowning Wench, has, suge has a suggestion to put you on the road towards new adventures. How do you fare, Mia? Rested and ready to expand your horizons? Well then, I've got an idea of where you might try heading next. Have you heard of the Skylift out in Middle Lanasia? If you've ever visited Woad Whisper Canyon, then you must have been up and down the thing at least once. It's that bleeding scaffold scaffolding attached to the descent. You've likely seen the lads and lasses out there using it to haul cargo up the cliff face. Hard labor, that, and I hear they could use an enterprising soul to pick up the odd jobs where no other bugger has time to deal with. Track down the head of the operation, bloke by the name of Weirkit. Weirk... Weirkrit. There it is, Weirkrit. And he'll be sure to put you on a, to put you to work on a task or two. So, we're again headed out to Middle Lanasia for that. And we could speak with Timokri over here and get our leaves, but we're not going to do that currently. We're going to save that. As I take a quick drink of my tea. And what am I doing? Why don't I take the crow's lift this time? That actually puts me closer to the exit. Uh, in a previous episode, I was talking about dark light armor. This is just an example. Uh, this character here, Linda Kidman, is wearing dark light armor. That's what this chest piece is. If I examine her, she's a level 50 monk. So you can see wearing the dark light corslet of striking, uh, dark light bracers, dark light subligar, and dark light eye patch. And uh, that's just an example of one of the current pieces. Uh, sadly, I don't see anyone around wearing anything else, but. Uh, I do like the dark light for the general domains of war more so than the uh, the paladin dark light. The caster dark light is gorgeous as well. I shouldn't say paladin, tanking dark light. Just because uh, the armor is quite often referred to as robo penguin armor or tin can armor. Um, it's just, it's not very flattering. I'm not a huge fan of the design. I much prefer my paladin AF or artifact gear. Um, but I know the time will come when I have to break down and go to Dark Light. There's a similar armor in the game that you get in the, I believe, the mid-20s and possibly again in the mid-30s. Um, that's, I believe, the heavy iron armor uh, that's used for that and fates all around. But we need to go here, over by the Nim River at the Skylift. Whoa, there's a Gobu. <laughs> and let's get to the bridge. Let's sprint as well. And how about I reactivate Aether Flow? Just so that's on when I need it. <clears throat> Excuse me. Sorry if I found, sound a little uh, strange. I'm kind of getting over some sinus head cold, head cold stuff. Um, I'll try to edit that out as much as possible in the post-editing of the video with the audio. Hopefully without completely making me sound like some sort of weird robotic bass. Uh, like one of the episodes with Kale was. Still not sure what happened with that audio editing, but... That is why I have my tea close at hand to keep things moving. So we have the Skylift, and I'm not sure if I can get around to it from here, or maybe this is where I need to go. But... 
Ah, we can. It all just kind of connects. And that's where we need to be. Can I jump? Oh, it won't let me jump. That is unfortunate. We'll have to take the stairs. Stairs like normal people. What is this? I wanted to jump. Oh, I suppose there's not actually anything there to land on, is there? <laughs> oh, no. Well, maybe. Maybe I could have jumped. Ah, so be it. Let's talk to Weird Kit. Weird Rit. Batteron sent you out here, did he? Then consider yourself welcome at the Skylift. Look at that bloody cliff, will ye? One blasted fiery hell of that huge dragon was all it took to split the ground in half. Cargo still needs to get through, though. Get through, though. So this mess of wood and pulleys was our solution to the problem. Well, one of them at least. If the gods were kind, and they ain't, I'd have about a dozen more workers to hand handle me growing list of headaches. And we'll choose our amateur breaches and complete. And you see that unlocked a couple of the quests. So, you'll see here, this... This rent here was put into place when uh, that, that bloody dragon he was talking about was Bahamut when it attacked. So I would assume, yes, just right here, this whole line here, the descent is, uh, was put in there by Bahamut. Well, let's talk with him again. Career for a day. Weirkrit, a Skylift operator, needs an adventurer to deliver some forgotten packages. Very well. Ah, great gobs of gobby spit. There's still a couple of parcels left in the balloon. And weren't, wouldn't you know, the bloody courier has left. Here now, lass, you seem to have your hands free. Do a poor sod a favor and deliver these packages to the personages. What are writ on the cards there? You can read, can't you? This is one for... This one's for... Ugh, I can read, but not those names. Sin Githov? Oh, the foremast. And the other's for Jessamine of the... Of the Don... The Neville Checkpoint. My word, I'm having trouble with even with normal names today. Kozai Boya... Boizai... Bui. Boizai? Maybe? I don't know. Keeping it fresh. Kozai Bozai, a cargo transporter that Skylift needs a helping hand to keep his fish fresh. Look sharp, lassie, I got a job for you. We don't got much time, so listen close. Today I got me too... I got me too many fish and not enough water sprite cores to keep them cool. You see me problem? Now I can't be delivering crates of rotted fish, so I need you to head over yonder and dance with them dripping sprites till you've collected three of their chilly essences. You do realize I don't want to actually, you to actually dance with them, right? Now, oh, smart guy, isn't he? And with Dovka. With, with Dovka? I don't know. Let's see what she, what she needs. Out to dry. Wadovka, a Skylift operator, is looking for someone to assist with her megalocrab woes. Ah, for the love of Lim Lane, not again. The leather's ripped to bloody shreds. Hmm, there's not Ari... Hmm, there's not awry with my brisses, you... No, there's not awry with me britches, you cheeky sod. Maybe I should just go to bed. It's the megalocrabs. They've been at the balloon envelopes... At the, I've left out to dry on the rocks. Those hell-spawned snippers think they found a squid or something and set to nibbling. Less balloons in the air means less cargo getting lifted, and that don't sit too well with me. You looking for a quick job? How about you crack a few shells afore you head off on your way? If you could put down five or so of the buggers, that ought to do for now. Got it. I can do that. So we have a number of quests, as you can see. Uh, three total that I need to pick up and do. So we're going to start with keeping it fresh. Actually, yeah, I guess we'll start with with uh, Out to Dry by slaying this megalo crab here. Obvious why it got its name. It's a very large crab. And we'll begin casting our spells at it. Ooh, a nice and timed knockback by Carbuncle there. Keeping us out of the AoE. Very nice indeed. And we move on to the water sprites now for keeping it fresh. Come on, Carbuncle. Start attacking. And that will be one down. Move on to the next one. I have a feeling I was a little fast on the casting this time. 
but we are le nearing level 12, which, if I recall correctly, if I open up my abilities and actions, maybe not? Hmm, I suppose it's at our level 15 class quest we get the Topaz Carbuncle, which makes it a little easier when I was soloing. Topaz is the tanking Carbuncle. And we have this sick that there. And begin our casting as well. I've never really watched the Carbuncle casting animation. Kind of an interesting animation. Oh no, there it goes. And that is our three cores, so we'll go on to killing our crabs. Taking down four more of them. I wasn't sure if Carbuncle was going to get that one. And there is two down. Uh-oh, I started casting before Carbuncle that time. I'm going to leave some time between uh, Bio and when I start casting Ruin. Oh. That is three of five. Two more to go. And I'm going to come over here this time. Now I talked about this, I just noticed in my chat log and noticed the items I've gotten. I talked about this with Kale when talking about uh, high quality items and crafting. And if I open my inventory uh, and go over into my fourth tab, you'll see I have green megalo crab shells. And then I have a green megalo sh crab shell with kind of a, like a wave symbol or a C inside of a C. Um, and uh, you'll notice that it also has these kind of sparkles around it, uh, and that signifies a high quality piece of material. Um, and I don't believe I have any others in here, um, but that can be used to craft high quality items, uh, which obviously grant not just more experience in crafting, but also grants more uh, defense or ability scores or any number of things when using the item. Uh, so those are very handy. So I tend to keep a hold of those a little bit more often than just the generic items. And we've got two of these we need to turn in here at Deneville's Checkpoint and Courier for a day. We'll go up to Deneville's Checkpoint and then grab that on the way back through. Oh, and I did not mean to use Aether Flow. Oh well, we'll sprint. The, the downside of mouse clicking And I'm running with my book out. There it goes. And there's the Neville checkpoint. And that is probably the NPC we need to talk to, Jessamine. I've always liked that name. I've come across a few of them in my lifetime. You've come with a delivery from the Skylift. Please tell me it's my the book on my brother sent from the Lothagrin checkpoint. I, I don't know, I don't read people's mail. Huzzah! Now I can spend my off-duty hours reading instead of losing my wages throwing knuckles with the captain. <laughs> the gods know there is precious little else that passes for amusement around here. Very good. Let's sprint again, this time. Ooh, Sister Crustacean. I believe that is a either a swarm of megalocrabs or a very large megalocrab. I cannot remember. And of course, we just aggroed a enemy there, and there it is. It is a, spor a swarm of spawning megalo crabs. But we're going to ignore that and continue moving as we aggro more of them. And because of us being attacked, uh, Carbuncle went and despawned because it was attacking the the dog that aggroed us. I keep seeing little black things. I don't know what it is. It slightly worries me. Is that maybe something to do with Aether Flow? I don't know, but 
It could just be a graphical glitch with my card or something. Oh, it's stuff blowing on the wind. That makes much more sense. Here's Singithov. Uh, are you are you come from the Skylift? You didn't happen to overhear any talk of undelivered packages, did you? Actually, I did, and I have one. Here you are. Why, this is the very parcel I was expecting. Marvelous. Hmm? The smell? Ah, that would be from the lavender pouches I... That would be the... Yeah, that would be from the lavender pouches I ordered from Red Rooster Stead. The soldiers here at Foremast train until exhaustion, you see, and often leaving them scant time to sluice away the day's sweat. The lavender fragrance helps cover their, uh, bodily aromas. So, essentially deodorant. Fantastic. Glad I could help with that. Uh, before I forget, I'm going to resummon Carbuncle. Because I would hate to, uh... End up going into battle without him. And we're going to put him on steady for the time being. Um, at least until I go back into combat situations, so I don't have that problem of something aggroing me and then I lose Carbuncle because he goes to attack whatever began to attack me. We're going to talk to Weirkrit last and start down here and just work our way back up. You take care of them, Snippers? Good bloody riddance. Nice work there, lass. Still, it won't be long for a new crew of crabs comes si sidl sidling in to claim the territory, and our loads just keep getting heavier, what with all the rebuilding going on. If I don't want to be buried under a mountain of crates, I'd best think of a more lasting solution to the Snipper problem. Indeed you should. In the meantime, I am going to take the hard leather satchel belt, which we can't use yet because it requires level 12, but we're nearly there. And let's go talk to Kazai. You back already? Don't keep me waiting now. Let's see those cores. Aye, lassie, you done well. Can't wait to get these beauties into me fish crates. That ought to keep the catch fresh and me customers happy. There's a whole mess of delivery companies what make use of the Skylift. You slip up one time and some bastard's liable to steal your business. Oh, and he has another quest for us. Kazai Buizai, a cargo transporter at the Skylift, wants you to slay buzzards that have been attacking wagons on the road. You've shown yourself to be a useful last. What do you say doing me another favor? We've been having a wee problem with the buzzards swooping down and snatching cargo from the wagons what are traveling the road to the Denevil checkpoint. Most days, them feathered hellions stay well enough away, but it seems they can't resist a wagon what's loaded with meat. Well, I say we make, us, make use of that weakness to lure the greedy buggers into a trap. Take this here sack of rotted rat meat, rotting rat meat, and set it down in vulture territory. That be where the buzzards make their nests. When the buzzards show up for the feast, you start breaking beaks with a vengeance. Easy? I'm sure it would be. And we'll talk with Weirkarit. Uh, all sorted out then. All sorted then. Thank you kindly, adventurer. It wouldn't do to have people whispering nasty rumors about the quality of our delivery services. Mm -hmm. With all this loading and unloading, there's always the chance that something gets left behind. We wouldn't even need the damn balloons if we could carve a ramp up the cliff face somehow. Bah, but the city ain't going, to, ain't got the gill or the time for that. What would the beast tribes and the emperor breathe, empire breathing down our bloody necks? All the competing cargo companies had to pool their resources just to get this little operation off the ground. Ha! Get it? Off the ground? Um, any road. We'll just have to do things the hard way for now. And amateur duck bills, which will be new boots for us. Yay. And we'll complete the quest. And of course he has another one for us. We're Crit, a Skylift operator, needs you to recover a cargo load abandoned by a terrified wagon driver and deliver it to its intended recipient. For this, we'll receive some hempen dress gloves. Glad I am to see you again, lass. A wagon driver just returned in a great bloody hurry, screaming about some monstrosity what sprang out from the million corn seedling in his cargo. Seems the gutless bastard tossed it over the side for a turn and tail and running for his life. I need you to head down the road, recover that seedling, and deliver it to Loif over at Swift Perch in western Lanasia. Whatever he pays you for the cargo is yours to keep. After all, I don't rightly know what else is lurking inside that plant, and you deserve to be rewarded for your troubles. Oh, and you'll ha you'll also find an aetherite at Swift Perch, so the journey should be worth your while. Nice uh, little tip there from him, but we're going to come up here and kind of overlook the ocean while we wrap off, wrap off, wrap up here. 
and we see there is the uh, the balloon that they were talking about, the sky lift that goes back and forth. I think it goes back and forth. I could be wrong. I don't know anymore. <laughs> slower, slower. All right, not that slow. The lovely localization team and what they did with the uh, that. But you no, know, you do see Limsa Lamensa, and not just Limsa. You see the Eighth Right Plaza, that being there, and uh, it's kind of interesting to look at it at night. But we'll get that in the background as we sign off. So. Thank you all for watching. If you liked the video, if you could give it you know, just a like or a favorite. If you uh, liked what you watched and would like to see more, feel free to subscribe to the channel. I uh, really appreciate it. Also want to take the time that if any of you were following me on Twitter, um, if you could re-follow me in order to get it so that YouTube would automatically post uploads to my Twitter account, I had to deactivate my account and reactivate it so anybody that was following me those tweets are now gone uh, that that account is now gone so if you could just follow me if you haven't followed me already please do uh, the Twitter handle is at JC let's play games sadly JC let's play was already taken the person using it uh, doesn't seem to have actually used it at all and wouldn't respond to any of my messages asking if I could have it so uh, instead it's JC Let's Play Games um, yeah that's pretty much it so if you can follow me over there subscribe to the channel uh, speaking of subscriptions last I checked we were around 75 76 subscribers so we're inching closer to that 100 subscriber mark once I hit uh, the point where I will be doing the dungeons. That is when I'm going to a more scripted, not so much full let's play. Um, but anything that I don't do in a video, so anything that's not a dungeon run, a class quest, or a major story quest, will be done on a live stream. Right now, because I'm still under 100, 100 subscribers, I am relegated to having to live stream over on Twitch, where the channel is twitch.tv slash jcletsplay. But I would love to be able to live stream here on YouTube. Um, I need a one. I need 100 subscribers for that. So if you could help me out, that would be fantastic. In the meantime, my name is Jonathan Cook. This is JC Let's Play. Let's get a <laughs> chuckle and a goodbye wave from Mia. And uh, I want to thank you all for the support you've given the channel. And in the meantime, I hope you all take care and peace out.